What's up? You too, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Jahi back with another video. And today, gotta talk about NBA free agency. I got the drop for y'all. So let's go. So, right, I'm just looking at ESPN real quick, bringing up all the news that I've been getting. First off, Clay Thompson. Free agent, as we all know, one of the big guys. Everybody's talking about James Harden, Paul George, Clay Thompson. The big stars everybody's going after. All vets all just became free agents. Clay Thompson's going to the Dallas Mavericks. Yes, Clay Thompson has fallen off. He had his injuries. He's had his ups and downs. His his crazy, crazy shot selection. His efficiency has dropped. But that's championship DNA. That's a winner. That's a legend. Honestly, a future Hall of Fame man, Klay Thompson, just picked up by the Dallas Mavericks. Now, I'll tell you, it says three years, $50 million contract. That's respectable. Klay Thompson, I know you thought you deserved a max. You don't right now. You have a lot to prove. So you're going to come into this season with the Mavericks, a team that just came off of a championship-level season. Did not do anything good against the Celtics, but they're all leading up to that, they was doing great. Nobody really expected them to make the finals. Now you're on that team. You have championship DNA. You and Kyrie Irving. I don't think anybody ever thought in their wildest dreams, Klay Thompson and Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic would all be on the Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks of all teams. Gonna make for some great basketball. They did lose Derrick Jones. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna see what team he went to, but I know he's gone. And Josh Green is also gone to the Hornets. It was a little sign of trade. Dallas Mavericks will be scary. They have a lot, a lot of depth in that starting five, almost at every position. They've got a great young center, a great starting center, a point guard, a shooting guard, and a small forward in P.J. Washington. Probably power forward now. Put Clay at the three, I guess. I ain't gonna lie, a team could be nice. And I'm excited to see it. Nicholas Batum coming to the Clippers. Clippers lost Paul George. We're gonna get to that. But that's a good addition. But he, he was on the team before, and they also not that good. James Harden also signed an extension, so he's staying with the Clippers. It'd be him, Westbrook, Kawhi. I don't know how faithful I am in that team, especially without Paul George, the most healthy outside of Russell Westbrook. Chris Paul is headed to the Spurs. I ain't gonna lie, I seen a clip. Greg Pop gave him, you know, saying a little wink. So it's time for bro to go over to the Spurs. And as you know, out there in San Antonio, I think they led the league in turnovers. That is the opposite of what Chris Paul does. As we all know, they call him the point guy. He don't deserve it. I ain't gonna lie. He do not deserve that nickname. That, is, that belongs to uh, a Magic Johnson. But they call him the point guy. He has gone a multitude of places and instantly uplifted them. I'm not gonna lie. He almost single-handedly made Shea into the refined player that he is today. Cause he literally transformed from a, a I'm gonna say Bones Highland like, like a high Tyrese Maxi like to a refined, skilled, effective, consistent score. So Chris Paul, 39 years old, old man, is now gonna be right in front of Stefan Castell. Yeah. I think that's his name, the bro who got drafted number four by the Spurs, the guard, who got real high IQ. So you had a high IQ guard with Chris Paul, one of the highest IQ players ever. You can't ask for much more. That guard will be developed into a great player with Greg Pop, who developed some of the best two-way guards you will find. Some of the best guards you will find, the Manus, the Tony Parkers, the DeJounte Murrays, the Derrick Whites, who else? The Pat Mills, like, there is going to be something nice with him, especially with a guard and a vet, like Chris Paul probably coming off, probably starting. So yeah, I'm excited to see what that'll be. Wemby's gonna get the ball right where he needs it. Stephon Castles, whatever his name is, is gonna get real nice. And that's gonna create an excellent duo with him and Wemby in the future, at least we hope cut down the Spurs turnovers numbers and we good also Jason Tatum just signed for 300 mil 300 million that's what you call championship money I ain't gonna lie 
They had to pay him more than uh, Brown. I think it's more than Brown now. $300 million. It's a lot of money. I don't know if I'll ever see $300 million in my life. He is about to make that in five years. Let's just all contemplate that. I'm sorry. NBA money is truly exuberating. Yeah. Derek White extends his contract with the Celtics. As we know, Derek White, another product of Greg Popovich, one of the best players on 18, one of the best role players in the NBA, who probably won't be going anywhere anytime soon. They're looking to get rid of Lowry Marketing, apparently. They're looking to put him on the trade block. The Warriors want him. It's a few other teams. Some teams that I think could benefit from having him, the Lakers, the Clippers, the Warriors literally never have a center. The Suns could probably get him. It's a lot of teams that could use a guy like Lowry Mark, especially his versatility. Tobias Harris is now on the Pistons, as well as, what's that coach name for the Cavs? But he's now on the Pistons. I think that'll be good for veteran presence for a team that's so young and so terrible. with So many quality draft picks that people talk so highly of. They have yet to really produce, even with the coach of the year, Monty Williams, who they got rid of, as many of you know, and now have J.B. Bickerstaff, the coach for the Cavs, who I don't know why they got rid of. That team just isn't ready. So getting rid of your coach, I don't think is the solution. But hey, also getting rid of Monty Williams wasn't the solution. But hey, I don't think Detroit knows what they're doing. They haven't done this in a while. We're going to see what happens with that. But they should honestly have a, a better time with Tobias Harris. He's, he's got some experience and some skill. Monty Williams from DMV. Man, you find out something new every day. Oh, my God. This might have been my most favorite news I heard. As y'all know, what did I talk about for the Thunder? My team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. We needed one thing. We just need one thing. A competent, strong, big body center. And we got that. We just signed Isaiah Hartenstein. Very young. He's 26. Perfect. We have a young team. Let's keep him young. We tried some veteran. Uh-uh. Ah, ah, I didn't like it. I did not like Gordon Hayward. He did nothing. He was a waste of a, of a, a roster spot. We now have Isaiah Hartenstein. That was our one hole in our team besides maybe a true point guard. A true point guard, a true facilitator. Josh Giddy was that, but he had nothing else to his name. Glad we got rid of him. Isaiah Hardenstein signed for $87 million for three years. It's not bad. We had some cap space, apparently. It's not bad. He averaged seven. He averaged eight, eight, 25 minutes a game. You give us eight rebounds, and then uh, tall bro, uh, Chet Holmgren, give us at least eight, ten. And you just do the heavy lifting. You guard the, the Jokic's. You guard the Giannis's. You guard the Embiid's. You guard the big bodies while he's over there floating, blocking shots. Allowed to play in space, I swear to you it's going to be nasty in Oklahoma City. I promise you it's going to be. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Thank you, Thunder. Isaiah Hardenstein, it seems like you got a brain because you made a fantastic decision. We also extended Isaiah Joe and Aaron Wiggins. For Joe, 48, four years, five years, 47 for Wiggins. Tyrese Maxey signed an extension with the, with the 76ers. Great idea. That's your future guard right there. James Harden taught him well. He's got some really good role models in front of him, or he's had some really good role models in front of him, and he's been developing great. $204 million for five years, as well as free agent Paul George signing a four-year, $212 million contract. 76ers. We all saw him on TV with Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid talking crazy like he's the scariest man alive. I think this is going to be a good, good year for Philly. They look good every year and be out there looking like the best player in the league almost every year. Maxi is getting better and better by the day. Living up to big moments. Paul George, you know, they got his old Erica Badu bag lady song. I think this team, they just filled a hole in the wing spot where they weren't the strongest. I think this team could be immaculate. They really can. Now, will they all step up in the playoffs? You have Joel Embiid, who has yet to really prove himself. Paul George, who gets trolled about his playoff performances. I'm really excited to see what can be done and what will be done. I know what can be done. 
they can go all the way with a team like this and they just signed kelly Oubre again great player off the bench they can go all the way but will they go all the way same with a lot of teams could go all the way but they never do and derrick jones jr is now on the clippers Another good pickup for us. We got some more role players. Build our, we know he was always known as a team of dogs. We now got some more dogs on our team. We got rid of a star, replaced him with that. There's really no more stars left on the table. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure they're going to be offering LeBron a max contract and probably go out and get it wherever they can. I don't know if they can trade for Lowry Marketing because they don't have much to offer. We Lakers can't give up much. I, I, I will say I do want to see the Lakers win. Not as bad as the Thunder or the Clippers and Russell Westbrook, but I do like to see the Lakers win. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment down below any other things you wish you would have saw. Do you wish Paul George would have went to your team or James Harden or Klay Thompson? I bet you did. Maybe not James Harden. He, he, he a little messy. But I know everybody could use a player like that on these teams, especially a Klay Thompson, straight up shooter for 50 mil. That's really not bad. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and some video ideas down below. I know y'all see the background. My girl got me these posters, you know, make my setup look way nicer. So thank you to, thank you to her. Y'all should go watch her videos. I don't know if she want me to shout her out, but no kid. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and some video ideas down below. It's your boy Jahi, and I'm out. Hey, hey, I know y'all see this, man. So go ahead and like. Press that subscribe button, press that notification bell, and make sure you come back for another video.